Welcome back to Ayla's Oracles. This will be a short reading, a full moon reading for Earth signs. This is for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, let's see what uh, life has in store for you. Coming up here for you guys. Mm. Passion. Oh, that is nice. Success. Why not? And destiny. <laughs> it is your destiny. It will... It's like... Now, what is what you're supposed to have right now is passion, success. That's for you. I mean, nobody can take that from you, okay? Passion, success, all for you now. Now, I will use my crazy cards or my uh, everyday life cards kind of thing. Okay, only for these, uh, only for this period. Now, this is a kid uh, doubting. Uh, that poor kid, well, I won't say poor kid, but that kid needs help because he doesn't know what to think. He's like, well, it's normal when they're, you're young, young like this. I mean, your emotion, that's less than 20 years old, okay? It's sometimes, it's not a kid, but it's just like your emotions are not uh, balanced yet, you know? So... That, uh, that person here, that kid, I will call it kid, uh, just is doubting all the time about the emotions, okay? Doubting about emotions. Here it's about somebody is having peace of mind here. Peace of mind, going on a trip, peace of mind, very, going on a trip, everything's fine here for that trip. Everything's is just fine. Here it's a, a guide helping you out against manipulation. There's a guide helping you out here. Very strong guide because it's in your destiny to be helped out against manipulation. Not to listen to everybody. That's what the guide is for. Here it's about work. There's a change at work here. Maybe you'll start working at home or not working at home anymore. But there's a change at work here. It's normal. Everybody goes through cycles. It's life. So, or you're going to work at home or you won't work at home anymore. One or the other. Okay. This is about, um, oh, you don't sleep at night very well here. Somebody's not sleeping well. Needs to go back to nature sometimes. Yeah. You're thinking too much at night. That's why you don't sleep well. Maybe because you don't take time to connect with nature. That would help, you know. Okay. It's your will. It's your free will. Here it's about um, what happened before. Uh, it's like help. It's help. Yeah, well. Okay. There's a couple that were like almost, uh, the poor couple here had problems before, but there's a renewal. You, that couple is being helped to come back to, you know, loving, to, to the loving part of themselves. I mean, loving themselves or having help here. Here it's about, uh, well... In three months, uh, I'm sure in three months, uh, you uh, just be careful. Well, I don't know if you're going to remember this, but hey, in three months here, somebody's going to try to, you know, to uh, grab you, trying to grab what you are, or what you have or whatever. So be, um, write it down somewhere and just check it out, maybe in, in three months at least, that person wants to grab what you have or something, trying to block you somewhere, okay? Hmm. This is about spirituality. You need to make a choice. It's like telling telling yourself, uh, is this, when I'm spiritual, uh, do I need to hate money or you're having a hard time between spirituality and money? Well, you know what? Uh, everything starts with spirituality. 
the money comes after. It comes automatically when you're spiritual because money comes from what you think, what you are, what you are becoming. It's, it's there to serve you. It's not there to have in the bank. Money is there to serve you. It's a, money, it's a servant. It's an energy to exchange. That's all it is. Don't, don't make it a big fuss out of it. Um, spirituality will bring you the money you need all the time. So why bringing money above what you are, what you really are? It doesn't fit that way. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't work at all. That's why we have headaches with her. You know, people have headaches with money if, wow, they don't have enough. They go like not cases. But no, no, it's because, ah, whatever, you'll know. This is a friendship. Uh, somebody wants to give you a, a, a something here, but doesn't want to tell you. <laughs> oh, wow, I shouldn't have said that. This is, this is a surprise. Oops. Okay, I didn't say anything here. Okay, these are the uh, terrible cards. I call them terrible because they're shocking sometimes. <clears throat> Often. This is wisdom. Cool. Oh. Okay, you're not sure about the house where you live here. Ah. So it's back here. It's like you don't know if you should live in the house or working out the house. You will find, you will find your answer. This is wisdom. Anyways, there, there will be success, whatever you work outside the house or in the house. <laughs> but here it seems that you don't know if you want to sell your house or not. It's like, you're not sure about a house here. What do you want to do? Well, use your wisdom. You have it right here. Use your wisdom. Okay, that's all I have for you. Thank you.